Hey everyone, Dukin is here with another game tape review. This is going to be another two part video because as you guys know, I really think to get the most out of these videos I need to cover every detail to give you a full understanding of my thoughts on the entire game. I know a lot of people were asking me to post a game that we lose. I'm not embarrassed about posting a loss, it just seems like every weekend there's a better option. So for example, this week's video is a 3-0 comeback. I was playing with Seizure and Wiz, who are both of my clan. We were facing a pretty skilled team, I think their average elo was about 1600, but I've linked them in the description so you guys can check them out. This was for our 10th win on our card, since we were actually trying to get Wiz a Scarab Heart Emblem. I want to say GG's to our opponents, and then let's get started. Before this game even begins, Seizure makes a really good call out. I was running the last word in a sniper. He told me to change the Universal Remote, and his reasoning was, he noticed that I was having trouble against good teams that were shotgunning that day. He said those games were often turning into a shotgun battle, and I need to be better prepared. It's important that you're comfortable enough with your team to be able to call something out like that and have them take it in a positive way. I appreciated Seizure pointing that out, just like I always do, because in the midst of playing, a player doesn't always see their weaknesses. So when a teammate mentions something like this, you should always give it a good thought because they see your performance from an entirely different perspective than you do. This game started out exactly as we expected. They pushed inside with shotguns. We did a poor job staying together though. So while we're trying to pin our opponents down, get angles, and kind of lock them in that corner, we left Wiz alone and they pushed in on him. After that, it was just a matter of being outmanned. Overall, we should have stuck together a little bit better because when a team is as aggressive as they are, sometimes letting them funnel in and team killing can be the most effective way to kill them. So round two is pretty pathetic and embarrassing if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. Seizure perfectly predicts that they're going to do the exact same thing, so I figured okay, I'll meet that guy in the tunnel. Sure enough, he shows up, and then I go full derp. He rolls over me, then he rolls over a derping whiz as well. Seizure then gets pinched, and now we're down two rounds. The only thing I would have changed is, you know, I would have actually fired my gun. I know there's not a whole lot to take away from that, but I just kind of left it in here so you guys would have a complete video. Knowing they were probably going to do the exact same thing in round 3, we played back a little, expecting a push. Seizure unfortunately gets picked on the bridge. He calls out that Wiz's Axiom Bolt connects, so we should move in and make a play. Wiz gets one down, but then he goes down. I take a man out as well, putting myself in a 1v1. However, I make a big mistake here. I didn't actually realize Wiz took someone out, so I thought I was in a 1v2. My plan was to get healthy and then cover my orb with a sniper. I was hoping to get a second one down and then push in for a res or fight the last man 1v1. That's why I ran outside. Seizure notifies me that I was running the wrong way. Once I realized the actual situation, it was too late. The enemy gets a res and then I get eliminated in 1v2. This really stresses the importance of paying attention to your HUD. It can be hard to do, especially in the heat of a gunfight, but had I identified the 1v1 on my HUD, I would have made better decisions and this round could have ended in a different way. I have a lot to say about round 4 because this was the turning point in the game thanks to our opponents making a mistake. Their defender Titan is in first place with 5 kills, so there's a very high chance he has his super going into heavy round. The player in second is a blade dancer with 3 kills. If that defender pops his bubble, the orbs he generates would give the blade dancer his super. I can't prove this mathematically, but I know from experience as a blade dancer that 3 kills and 2 orbs after 3 quick rounds is enough to charge my super, not to mention assists he may have had. Even if you disagree that the Blade Dancer would be charged, I still think they made a mistake by not rushing us. Three players with weapons or armor of light, one of which might be a super Blade Dancer, is not being shut down by a team without supers. They could have attacked us as a team, easily stole the round, and then come at us in round 5 with their Stormcaller super. In all honesty, they probably would have swept us 5 nothing if they were more aggressive with their supers. In Trials, you have to have a killer instinct, it is critical. That includes having no mercy with your opponents. If you can take a round with an early super, do it. Don't hold back, or you get into situations like this. They gave us breathing room by only sending one guy to challenge us, we cleaned him up, and then we started the comeback. Let's do a little recap of what we covered in the first half of this game. When a teammate of yours makes any kind of suggestion, which in my case was my primary weapon choice, don't take it as an insult. You have to remember that you have the same objective as your team, which is to win games. So they're not suggesting you change something to take a stab at you, they just think you have a better chance at winning by doing something else. Then they may not always be right, but you have to at least consider it and discuss it with them. Next is team coordination. If you're going to go out and spread out and find angles, make sure you're coordinated enough. We were poorly coordinated in the first couple of rounds, and our opponents were able to isolate us and pick us off one by one. Had we communicated more, the player being isolated would have been able to backpedal and not get picked. Please, please, please pay attention to your HUD at all times, especially after an engagement. I failed to identify that I was in a 1v1 in round 3, which caused me to make a bad decision and ultimately lose the round. 
I was distracted by everything that went down, so my takeaway is to do a HUD check to avoid that from happening again. The last takeaway is the most important of this whole game. You have to have a killer instinct in Trials. Up 3-0, you can put a chokehold on the game by rushing your enemies in heavy round. Had our opponents snowballed their advantages by popping a bubble and pushing with weapons of light or a blade dancer, they would have easily destroyed us. Not having the killer instinct allowed us to climb back in the game. Guys, that's it for part one. I won't post part two until tomorrow or the day after because I think it's important you guys digest this half and then come into part two with a fresh mind. If I can please get you guys to massage that like button, that would be great. I'll see you all soon. Duking us out.